Welcome to section 4.1.4. Uh, today we're going to we split this unit into two different parts. We split it into the first part, which is kind of a review of how to find the sides and angles, uh, especially when they haven't oriented the triangles in a way that we're used to, and talk a little bit about a new way of naming the sides of the triangle. And the second it part will deal with the calculator and how to use the calculator to find the uh, values that we've been using. Okay, the first problem that they gave us was the Leaning Tower of Pizza problem again. And I've drawn the triangle over here. Remember, to find the angle, we write the ratio, 50 over 5, which equals 10. Then we're going to go to our table, and we're going to find 10. Right here, it's across from 84 degrees. So this angle is 84. Now, in the story, they told us if it's more than 83 degrees, um, then, or that 83 degrees was our cutoff point. Basically, they're saying if the slant is less than 83 degrees, that we're, we're worried that it might collapse. So, if we found that the angle was 84, that's slightly greater, and so I would say that it is probably safe for now, but not in immediate danger. Okay. Now, the next one that we did was this one here. I'm going to zoom in on it. And maybe not quite that much. And remember that we've got to find the angle and this side. There's two pieces of information missing. Well, I know the triangle's angles have to add up to 180. So, and more specifically, these two angles have to add up to 90. I can take 90, subtract 79, and I get that that's an 11 degree angle. From there, I'm going to set up the, uh, the triangle's ratios. One ratio, this one right here, has to come from, has to come from the uh, triangle. So I did W over 12. The other one, for 11 degrees, is 1 fifth. And so, remember that when they put it in the book, it was like this. So all I did was kind of turn it to a way that I'm used to seeing it. Cross multiply, and I get 5w equals 12. Divide both sides by 5 to make the w by itself, and I get w equals 2.4. The next one, same general kind of thing. I need to find the angle. And in the process of finding the angle, um, I see that these two have to add up to 90, so that makes that 68. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my fractions. The angle is 68. So I'm going to use that one over here, and 68 is 5 over 2. Then um, these other two sides for this triangle are going to be 8 over z. Let's just kind of go ahead and do the calculations. Cross multiply 16 equals 5z. And then divide both sides by 5. And I get 16 divided by 5, which is 3.2. Or z is about 3.2. So I'm going to put in here that that's about 3.2. Okay, the next one we're going to do completely from scratch. Okay, it is oriented in a way that we're not used to. Now I can see that if I did this, turn it over, and then maybe flipped it, I would get a triangle in, that's oriented like I'm used to. I'm going to go ahead and draw what that will look like right here. It'll have an angle right there. And there's the right angle. This side's going to be the x. This will be the theta. This will be the 18. And this will be the 15. OK. Now, um, let's find this angle first. So that's 90 minus 18 or 72 so that's a 72 degree angle and now I'm ready to find the sides 
see the ratio that they, it, they give me, oh, I've got it backwards. But if I flip it, I'll, it'll still be the same. I'll have x over 15. And let's see, the ratio for an 18 degree angle. If I can find my chart is 18 degrees is point or it's one third we use one third okay so I cross multiply and I get 3x equals 15 divide both sides by 3 and I get x equals 5. So I know that this x right here is going to equal 5. Now, we've got about four minutes left and we're going to talk about a different way to name this triangle. We want to start naming these triangles using three words. One side we'll label as the hypotenuse which we will just abbreviate as HYP. The other side is going to be the opposite. And another side will be the adjacent. Okay, those three words. Three sides of a triangle, three labels. Now, two of these words are relational. In other words, they depend on where we're looking from. For example, if I'm at this 18 right here, what side, not angle, what side is opposite? Well, the side that has the X on it is opposite because it's across from it. Just like if I were standing in this part of the room, where would the opposite part of the room be? It would be over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and label these for the 18 degree angle just to show you how we're going to label. First, label your hypotenuse. It's the longest side and it's also across from your right angle. Now I'm going to label my opposite side. It's always across from my angle. So this is going to be the... And the only side left must be the adjacent. Now, just a note, if you have an angle, it's always going to touch the hypotenuse and the adjacent sides. It will not touch the opposite side at its vertex. The right angle is never used, so we're always using these other angles. Now let's look really quick at what would happen if I labeled using the other angle. So this time I'm going to use the angle over here. Well, this is still the hypotenuse because I told you it doesn't change no matter which angle you use. But now, since I'm standing here, the opposite of the triangle is now over here. It's not that the triangle itself is moved, it's just the angle we're using. And this side becomes the adjacent. Now, this can get confusing but what I want you to know is if we look at how we've set up our ratios, x over 15, when we use the angle 18, the ratio we have been using has, has and remains the opposite side over the adjacent side. That saves us some work because if I'm using this 18 degree angle like I did before, the opposite side was x the adjacent side was 15. Because I labeled my sides, I didn't have to come back and rotate it and flip it. I just know that it's going to be the opposite and the adjacent. And since the angle was 18, I know that the ratio for 18 is 1 third and I can do that. We don't have a terribly large amount of time left on here, but we'll talk more about this um, on the next video. So go ahead and go to part two.